So let's, now that we know how to solve percent problems, let's use what we know to solve uh, some word problems uh, that, that are about percents. So I've got 200 fluid ounces of solution that contains 12 fluid ounces of some liquid drug. And we want to figure out what percent of the solution is not liquid drug. So not the liquid drug. So we can do this a couple of ways. We can either set up a proportion or an equation. So let's start first by using equations. So the equation way, we have to, we have to translate the words here into an equation. And so I'm going to look at what percent of the solution is not liquid drug. So what percent, so we don't know, right? So we're going to call that our x of, remember tells us to multiply the solution. Well, the amount of solution is what they really mean here. So the amount of solution, all of it is 200. And then is not liquid drug. So they told us how much was liquid drug, but what we need to know is how much is not liquid drug. So if you have 200 total fluid ounces and 12 fluid ounces, ounces of that is the drug, how could we figure out how much is not the drug? Well, it's the 200 fluid ounces take away the 12 that is the drug. So now we have, we have got our equation set up. All we have to do now is solve it. So the first thing I'm going to do is do 200 minus 12 gives me my 188. So I still have x times 200, or you could write it as 200x if you like that better. And so now I just have to solve this for x. I'm going to do that by dividing by 200 on both sides. So when I do that, I get 0.94 which isn't quite what we want, right? 0.94 isn't the percent, it's the part over the whole. Um, so we, so 0.94 we have to convert to a percent, which is 94%. So that's how we would set it up with an equation. Um, we could do a similar idea, but with proportions. So with proportions, we have the part over the whole equals the part over the whole again, but now our whole is going to be 100%. Okay, and we're asking what percent. So that's going to be our x. Uh, we don't know the part with relationship to the percent. Um, and then we're going to, we need the part and the whole. Well, the whole solution is 200 fluid ounces. And the part of the solution that is not liquid drug, we already did that, 200 minus 12, which gives us the 188. So now all we have to do is solve this for x. We get 188 over 200 equals... Um, multiply both sides by 100 over here. So multiply on both sides by 100, so the 100 cancel out over here. And so we end up with x equals all this. And when we simplify all of it, right, we get 94. So it's 94 percent, just like we had solving it with equations. So that's how we can solve one of these percent problems.